Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button. If you're coming back, well, welcome back. I am in a different location than I usually am. I'm actually at my school, and I'm in my dorm room. I'm just chilling on my bed. I have a few classes later today, but um, I thought, you know, since I'm at school for a couple weeks and, you know, I haven't recorded lately, I just haven't felt like, I haven't felt like inspired to, you know, like I don't want to just post to post, but I, you know, I got myself up and I was like, Gabby, you're gonna stick through it because I've had a lot of exams lately. I thought I would do an update on school and just talk about how it is, how my semester looks like, and kind of just give you guys a little insight on, you know, second semester freshman year just second semester of college in general if you're new and don't know I attend Bentley University that is in the greater Boston area so Waltham I started school in the fall it was really quick to adjust I love it so much it's only like three hours away from my home so it, I didn't really get homesick so I finished my first semester and I finished with a 4-0 and I did really really good in my classes I enjoyed them all so I am wrapping up my first year at college and I thought you know why not make a video on my thoughts on the first year of university? For some of you who have never attended college, I hope this is helpful in maybe transitioning into it. First things first, I just want to emphasize on how fast it went by. I know like adults tell you and they're always like, you know, enjoy college. It'll be the fastest four years of your life. It'll go by so much quicker than high school. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I get it. High school went by quick. This is going to go by quick too. But like, with the breaks that college gives you, like a huge winter chunk break, and then a huge summer break, and then like Thanksgiving and spring break in between, it, part of it sometimes feels like you're just at college for like really fast stretches of time, just like chunks, you know, that you're just like, all right, push through here, push through here, push through here. And before you know it, it's all over, and I cannot tell you guys how fast it really do does go by. And please listen to me when I say this because you'll go into it and think that it's gonna last a long time four years again like high school and it doesn't it doesn't work that way like you're living not like high school you're not going to school for that long every day you're living a normal like everyday life so you're living like an adult but just attending classes instead of kind of work I think it's like less time consuming but I don't know. I want to make a point that your first semester doesn't go by as quick as your second. And I think that's common through university. Second semester goes by quicker, the spring one, because it's spring and it's just like you hit January and all of a sudden it's like springtime and you're gone. It all is a little more elongated. I mean, it's like a new year, like you're not as comfortable with it after coming from the summer. And then spring, it just is like you're all used to school, so it just like goes by so quick. And there are a lot of fun things. It's spring break before you know it. It's going uphill in the spring because you're like, towards summer but in the fall it's like you're going towards winter so I have to admit spring semester is more fun and more laid back and chill it will go by and you're gonna be like wow my whole life I've waited for this first year of college this crazy year that's what most changing year, the most impactful year of my of my life you think and then all of a sudden you're here where I am and are like wow I'm a sophomore soon like just a month and I'm gonna be a sophomore in college and then at that time it's not really special anymore and so it just kind of flies by until you're a senior and you're like wow all right my time here's done please take advantage of your time don't feel rushed when you're here but still be conscious meet so many new people do as much as you can and I know it's hard you know when you have an experience to, to have that mindset but I challenge you guys to do that seriously because you will get the most out of your experience if you just put yourself in there and use all the resources your, your university has and I don't mean you know like party your whole way through which some people do but you know just kind of like try to experience in a different route than just partying the whole American you know culture experience because it really can be cool when you just you know take a step back and really enjoy what your university has to offer instead of just like crazy fun parties which I'm sure they can be a little bit about my experience if you guys are new to my channel I actually uh, had a change of roommates so my first semester I had one and she moved into Boston and she was from Lebanon she was amazing if you're, you're watching this I love you she's in one of my previous videos I'll put it like here here you can go watch that it'll show you my whole dorm and um, my previous roommate she moved into Boston and um, she left so I was in a dingle so a double but I was living in a, I was living as a single and uh, I didn't know if I was gonna get a roommate second semester and I ended up getting another one, Alicia, and um, she came from New Jersey and she's amazing and we're best friends and I couldn't imagine 
not having her as a roommate. So I know you guys probably are really scared, like, you know, about your roommate. And that is that is probably the scariest thing that I felt going into college is this person you're gonna be living with, sharing things with. And I can't stress this enough, like a bad roommate can make your experience like zero. Like you will not have fun at school if your roommate is not someone that you have a good dynamic with and that you just get each other. I know a lot of people here, a lot of my friends at other schools that originally did not have a roommate they wanted because they either went random or maybe the roommate they picked just didn't work out. But that doesn't usually happen when you pick your own roommate. They they work out, like I've found that here especially. But um, when you go random, if you just don't have a good dynamic, do not worry, because those first couple weeks of school do not mean anything. It's like syllabus week, you don't really have any work. You can you can sort these things out. But I, I advise you, you know, to really scope it out like the first week, let a couple weeks go by, and if you really don't feel like this is someone you're ever gonna be able to, you know, get the flow with and feel comfortable around, then you can change your roommate 100%, and I'm sure more than not, your school will accomplish accommodate you. You know a lot of kids that did switch their roommate and they got a one that they fell in love with. And so I guess the moral of the story is to not be so scared about it, but to really know and be reassured by me and by other people that it will be okay. Like you will find your happy ground, whether it's the first day of school with your roommate or maybe you need to change it or maybe it takes a whole semester like to really get that perfect one. But will get that person that you live with that makes you feel comfortable. Talk to your RA, talk to whoever, and be confident with what you want because like I said, before you know it, your freshman year is gonna be over. You're gonna say, where did the time go? Why didn't I make the best use out of it? Why didn't I change my roommate? And I'm gonna reassure you now that things will be fine and you will find your person and you will be comfortable where you live and you will be happy. I guess I should touch upon academics for me, but you know, it's hard to talk about academics here at my private school, Bentley, because a lot of people watching this go to will go to state schools or you know maybe their own separate private schools so the majority of people that watch my videos are not going to be attending Bentley University and Bentley is very specialized in their courses so they have their own courses that are funded sometimes by big companies or uh, you know or done you know in special ways that you really can't transfer those credits as well as you could through state schools I guess my expectations for academics versus reality uh, would be probably like I expected it to be much harder than it was and if you've watched a few of my previous like college videos you you know that I've said that before I totally thought college was gonna be way harder than it was but I know a lot of people that struggle and they think college is like the hardest thing in the world so you know each to their own but um, for me like I've definitely found that that it's all about time management and I knew that that was something that what I expected was real is that college is all about time management and it's how you use your time college provides you with so much free time so much time to get everything you need done it's just a matter of like what are your priorities I know a lot of people here that struggle with their priorities aren't so much school and they're you know a little more of other things so get your priorities straight when you come in and if you are strong-willed like someone like me that can that is able to say no is not moved by peer pressure then you'll be fine and your priorities will stay in line I I remember that was something I was really scared about going in is focusing on the things that I really want to achieve and love and I remember I wrote on my board and I kept it there for a while and it said um, academics, it said my family, it said YouTube, and it said happiness. And those were some things that I really wanted to focus on freshman year and I did. So overall with academics, um, I made them a priority and I ended up getting four rows in all my courses and um, second semester I believe it's going to be the same way but as you get more involved like I will next year and you know your your friend group expands then you start to have other priorities that are on your list and you have to start crunching things so I'm sure by senior year you get a routine it does get increasingly harder to manage all the things that you have here when you get involved in more things so I guess my advice to you guys on that would be to not jump into everything immediately um, obviously don't want to waste any time but to give yourself a couple weeks or maybe even like that one month to really just have academics laid out for you get those managed know what you need for time to do those and then you can jump into things that you want don't feel too pressured by time like I said but really just like take your time to know what's gonna happen and then you know what you can jump into and do the things that you want to do
when it comes to feeling like you fit in, that can be definitely a struggle um, for people that aren't so, you know, secure with their identity and just who they are and their presentation of self. I guess I don't want to say this, but like I wouldn't recommend going to a, a private school. I guess if uh, you're very concerned with your identity and your presentation of self and are a little bit self-conscious because I find here like I mean I wore dresses so much in high school like I wore them and I wore heels and I was just like myself and I was like I'm gonna be stylish I'm gonna do whatever I want and here I have definitely toned it down because I mean private school and involved with like um a smaller community for my school here than other big state schools I've definitely seen myself get a little more you know insecure with my style and because people here you know they don't branch out nobody wears dresses for fun nobody wears heels they all wear sneakers I'm like watching them outside right now walking they just got out of class and I'm seeing them all they all wear pants and sneakers um, maybe sandals and just a basic top and you know for me that was really hard because I really just wanted to wear wear my stylish clothes and my dresses and stuff but I definitely did tone it down because I I, I couldn't stand just being stared at so much and you know people get to know you and they're like what are you dressed up for what are you that so you know that's something I should work on and getting back to doing what I want going to a smaller school makes you a little more conscious of um, what you're doing and makes you blend in a little bit more because you just want to be because I mean even if you can't help it sometimes you just don't want to be a total outcast. I just have a business school with 70% guys. Here it's like, ugh, sometimes I just feel like we're all the same. <laughs> and there's so many guys here. There are no girls. And like the little bit of girls you get to choose from, it's like, oh, why can't there just be a lot more? But it's fine. It's really good fine. fine. <laughs> no, don't make me, don't, don't think that I don't enjoy it being here because I actually love Bentley and I wouldn't go to a different school. Unless of course like Duke wanted me to go to Duke. I don't know what it is about. Alright, I'm going off on a tangent here. I have class soon so I gotta wrap this up. So I guess don't be intimidated by classes. You'll get the hang of them. You will, you'll do fine, you'll find your way as long as you make it a priority. Nobody doesn't have time for anything, they just choose to not make it a priority and I believe in that 100%. If anyone tells you I can't do something, I'm doing this, it's because you're not on their priority list. So that's just what it is. You know, I really could go on and on about everything that I've experienced my freshman year at college, um, but I want to do a couple bullet points here to get some things off. But uh, if you want like a part two to this or you want any more information, please, please, please DM me or comment below. I love talking to you guys. I always say that. Um, and I will make a part two and answer anyone's questions. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I, I'll put them and incorporate them into part two of this video. And just follow my Instagram right here and you can talk to me. A few other things I'd like to say would be my professors were great. Using classes, we have rate my professor. I actually just registered for housing a couple weeks ago for next semester and for us we live in these just double dorms but for upperclassmen you get suites or apartments. I'll be in a suite with uh, three other girls maybe four next semester. I put into like this this fake housing for now because I didn't get to register because everything was taken up already so they'll place me by like June 20th. Soon I get to register for courses for next semester and for courses I'll be taking um, these required courses so business statistics, marketing, Spanish. I'll start my Spanish minor and I'll be taking my second English class to finish it out, Expos 2. I have to take this thing GLS and uh, I think it's GLS 100 or 102 or something. It's like a government politics class like that that you have to take. It's required for Bentley and I think you need a GLS to study abroad and I will be studying abroad. If you have any questions about that, you know what to do and I can share where I'm gonna go but I hope this was helpful. I wanted to leave it a little open-ended at the end. Uh, so you guys could ask me any questions and I hope I sparked maybe some in your minds. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and uh, make sure to stay tuned for my next video and I will see you soon. Make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe.